Welcome to the Living Faith Missionary Church Podcast. You're about to listen to a message from Pastor Chris Starn, Senior Pastor at Living Faith in Yoder, Indiana. It is our prayer that this message is an encouragement and a blessing to your life. What a beautiful song. Thank you so much. The Great Commission song, the Commission song. And as you shared about the history of the church, I pastor actually shared with me the a document about that and the motto was to make Jesus Christ known better which goes perfect perfect song for the history of the church and the future of the church I am Jim Halstead I am the founder and pastor in Go and Tell Ministries you got a little brochure about that uh, ministry matter of fact I have pastored for over 35 years with uh, three denominations I've also been a special education teacher in East Allen County Schools for 10 years often bivocational when I pastored Matter of fact, Floyd and I, we, uh, we led the Taylor University golf outing for pastors for five years in a row. And I, Floyd, I didn't know, is this the church that you were pastored with when we were doing that together? And as I have, I've pastored for 35 years, I've taught special education, I founded the Go and Tell Ministries. And it's, the purpose is to equip the church to share the gospel and to make disciples. Because I've realized that's it's kind of missing in the church today. And as I, as I look back, as I've retired from the pastor as I retired from special ed teaching and now I literally travel the United States doing uh, go and tell ministries as a faith-based missionary I reflect on Jesus's word when you know when he said the great commandment that it, the purpose of life is to love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself when he summed that up as the great commandment I've realized in my old age that that really is the meaning of life. That is the purpose. It's to love Jesus with all our heart, and it's to love others. That, that sums it up. And, and I only realized that in 35 years of ministries, but I think I grasped that even more so as I taught special education for 10 years. Because I, I want you to think, it, life is about relationship. It's about your relationship with the Lord, Jesus Christ, and your relationship with other people. When you think of your favorite teacher, when you think back of your favorite teacher, I'm pretty sure no one's thinking of lesson plans and tests. You're thinking of what? Relationships. The relationship you had with your, your teacher that encouraged you, inspired you. Matter of fact, when I taught, it just summed up the purpose of that. I, I actually taught at New Haven Middle School several years ago, three or four years ago, and at the end, I was a bivocational pastor. I was teaching special ed at the junior high. And at the end of the year, I actually told my students, by the way, I'm not coming back next year. I took a position at Southwick. It's an elementary school. And at the end of the day, my class made me a card. I actually have it in my car. And on the outside of the card, it was written by a 20, 25 special education students in middle school. It said on the cover, we just want you to know that we're going to miss you. And you open it up, they sign their name, and they put your favorite student. Because I told every student, don't tell anyone, but you're my favorite student. <laughs> and so some of them actually marked out, no, they marked it out. He never liked you, he liked me. And, and so I'm getting outside of the card, it says, we just want you to know we're going to miss you. You open up all the signatures, and in big, bold print it said this, but that doesn't necessarily mean we liked you. And if that's not the best junior high card, I really don't know what is. But then the, the last year I taught was uh, I retired in teaching in 21, May of 21. I, I, I got a student as, in Southwick, if you don't know, it's a kindergarten to second grade school, uh, 700 students. That year we had, I think, 300 Burmese students, five Burmese translators, two Spanish translators, free breakfast, free lunch. Uh, it was a needy community. And I received a student, and I'm going to share some of, about my, my students today, but I'm going to change their name for confidentiality's sake. And I'm, I'm going to call this student Matthew. I got Matthew. He was a Burmese student, a kindergarten child, a child with autism. And when I got him on like a Wednesday, they said, oh, by the way, he's, he's probably not going to talk to you until he gets to know you. And on Friday, he was on early release. He left early. I was literally on my knees, zipping up his jacket, and I looked at him eye to eye, and I looked at him, and I said, Matthew, I just want you to know I love you. And his first words to me were, Mr. H, I love you. You know, it's all about relationships. Well, what was nice about that moment, my knees locked up. I couldn't stand up. So the next thing I know, I go, Matthew, you got to help me. And he's trying to pull me up. Then the principal walks by and says, Mr. H has fallen. <laughs> and so... 
Everyone's trying to get me up, but what I remember about teaching junior high, teaching elementary, it's all about relationships. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It's all about your relationship with God and your relationship with others. And the text we're going to look at is Galatians chapter 5, and we're only going to look at the second part of that verse. And as that verse comes up now, it says this, the only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. Join me as I, as I pray for a blessing on the word. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for today, celebrating 90 years of history in the past and also looking forward to the ministry of the future. And I ask now, Father, may the words of my mouth and may the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer.